Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode at Smithsdale Farm. It's about 8pm and we're just starting work today because it's been an absolute scorcher. We're having the first heat wave of the year and it's been about 33 degrees today. I think that's about 91, 92 Fahrenheit. So it's been really, really hot. So we've spent the morning doing other jobs and now we're going to get on with the cabin build now that all of this is in shade and it's starting to get a little bit cooler. In this episode, we're going to be putting the roof onto the cabin. So we're going to be putting on some vapor barrier and then some battens and then also some corrugated steel on top. We're Danny and Kate, and this is Paco. We recently bought 12 acres of land in the Spanish mountains. Follow the journey as two DIY novices with tons of enthusiasm, but not quite as much know-how. Renovate a small stone barn into the tiny house of our dreams and bring the land back into full production. But first, before we rip the roof off our brand new home, we need somewhere to stay. Welcome to the Cabin Build series. I wish, I wish I knew the road to you. So it's quarter past nine and the sun is already starting to set. So we just quickly went through a couple of the measurements and things just to recheck everything um, and make sure everything's ready for tomorrow. So as most of you know, we drive back to Barcelona on Sundays and so we usually have a few hours to kind of crack on and get work done. So we're gonna try and do that in the morning um, and see if we can get the whole roof done. Might be a bit of a challenge, but let's see how far we get. So now I'm gonna take those measurements that we've just taken, sit and work everything out, and then in the morning, we should just be able to get on, make the cuts we need, get the battens on with the vapor barrier and everything, and hopefully everything will go according to plan. Keep your fingers crossed for us. So this is the vapour barrier we're putting up on top. It's a long roll and we've cut them to four and a half metres. The roof space is 420, so we've got a bit of, bit of overhang on either side. And then these are the battens we're putting on top. There are two metre battens, so we've got a bit of um, calculations to do to, to 
to make everything work and not have like overhangs in the middle. So in the center of this piece here, we've got the two meters on either side and in the center, we've got a it's 58 centimeter piece. And then this one, we're gonna do two meters, two meters, and then calculate the end piece just to stagger uh, where we've got that singular small piece. Well, yeah, we're going up. Basically, we've, we've laid it on, folded it down so we can get to where we need to get to. Um, and we'll keep working across and then we'll work up that way. And probably the last ones we'll have to put on um, with the ladder on the outside. But it's, um, it's going quite well and it's nice to have a little bit of shape below us. was wondering how we get all of these different camera angles. It's like this. Like a mountain goat. Just a little time lapse. It's another really hot day today. It's 32 again. Um, Luckily, there's a little bit of cloud cover today, so we don't get that real like intensity of the sun, but it's still really, really hot and humid. So we're trying to get on with the job as quickly as we can, but we need to keep taking breaks so that we can get some more water, have a little rest, a little break out of the sun. So we're gonna go and sit in our new little area that we built yesterday uh, during the daytime when it was too hot. We put together some new furniture for a little kind of outdoor lounge area. We've been meaning to do this for ages, but just haven't got round to it. So we went down and I picked up some whilst Danny was doing the streaming yesterday and we now have a little kind of chill out area which is really nice and very much needed. In one of our previous videos, we showed the grapevine that we uncovered when we were cleaning this area, and it's looking really good. We haven't got any sign of grapes yet, but we'll keep you updated. Seems to be happy under this pine tree though. As we can see, we're both a little bit hot and bothered. <laughs> but actually, this is a really nice place just to sit because it's underneath the pine tree, um, just next to where the, the main part of the house is. Um, so it gets a lot of shade here and we can just kind of move around on this top bancal when the sun moves around so that we can kind of stay in the shade all day, which is great. Um, we'll probably make it a bit more fancy in the future, but for now it's something that works really nicely and just gives us somewhere to take a minute, take a breather, have a rest and then get back to it. Good boy. Good boy. p.m. 34 degrees, best time to be working at the top of a mountain. Well, sometimes you don't quite get done what you hoped you'd get done. We thought that we were going to be able to get all of the... Um, can't even speak, I'm so tired. Um, 
We've been trying to put the battens onto the top so that we hold the membrane in place. And we thought that it was going to take maybe like four or five hours to do it um, because we've got to cut a few pieces so that it fits and, and kind of trim things to size. But it's just exhausting. And the main reason for that is because it's so hot and it doesn't look particularly sunny right now. Um, luckily, it's it's really overcast and it's quite um, it's quite cloudy now but it's been bouts of sunshine and and kind of chopping and changing all day and it's 34 degrees so even though it's not blistering sunshine it's still really really hot and our climate here is quite humid too so it just means that you're hot and sweaty and it's so much easier to make mistakes or you know a screw slips out of place and then it feels like so much more effort to kind of get it and put the next one in and whatever and it's just absolutely exhausting. We're going to try and do this uh, one batten line that we've got here. Uh, there are nine in total. We've done six, but we still have three more to do. It's already nearly half past four and we've got to drive back to Barcelona tonight, um, ready for work tomorrow. So I'm not sure if we've got enough time to actually get all of these done. Probably not. So it might be safer that we kind of stop in a sensible place um, just clamp everything in place for the other pieces, the, the rest of the material, so that it doesn't get damaged by any kind of wind or anything, and then come back to it next time we're down. But we're going to get cracking again now and just see how much more we can get done. So we've been using these jig pieces uh, while we've been putting up the battens. So we've been spacing the battens at 37 and a half centimetres, centre to centre. Um, so rather than trying to measure that every time we're doing a screw, we make two um, jigs, pieces of wood, cut to the right length. So the space between is about 35, um, so that's what we've done. Uh, we place one at either end so we know roughly we're level um, and have the spacing the same each time and it's just much quicker, easier. And then this piece is, because when we're screwing through the wood, you hit the metal and if the metal's not braced, it kind of pushes the metal down rather than going through it. So we prop this up underneath, it holds the metal in place and then the screw can go through the metal quite easily. Well, it's working so far, so we're quite happy. So this is Katie doing the second to last pattern. And she's up there because I can't fit through that tiny hole. <laughs> we're gonna finish this one and I think we're going home after that. We just got back to Barcelona after a three hour drive and after this weekend I think it's safe to say that we are both absolutely shattered and much in need of a shower. So that's the next thing on our agenda before we go to bed. It's nearly midnight and we've both got work in the morning so we'd better get to that. So I think that's where we'll leave it for this week. I suppose it's a bit of a to be continued on the roof. If you've made it all the way to the end, then thank you so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one. Paco, is it bedtime? Come on then. Good boy. Good boy, puppet.